And she has the the posters. Yeah, yeah. We can save those for the booth. Yeah. Well, for the they're gonna be up at the grand too. Oh. So I don't know if that's on here, but if I have a chance to mention that, it was okay. Good afternoon. <coughs> I now call the April twenty fifth meeting of the New Alm Human Rights Commission to order. Our first order of business today is to present our poster and essay contest winter, winners. Uh, doing the presentation will be the chairman of our education committee, Wendy Ringhofer. All right, well, I did not prepare a speech for you, so you're welcome. <laughs> we were so impressed with the posters that we received and the essay. Um, the amount of effort that went into these and the, the art and what, what was just conveyed through the art was just, just really, really cool. We were so impressed. Um, I think I'll start with the, with the essay contest winner, and we have um, Megan Hames. Is she here today? Okay, well, congratulations. We'll send that to her in the mail. Yep. And then we have our poster contest winners. Um, in third place, we have Cheyenne Henricks. Come on up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not that formal. <laughs> Congratulations. Awesome. And then for second place, we had a tie. So we have Christian Schwanz and Mason Sherrod. <laughs> Are you Christian or Mason? Okay, did I say your last name right? Okay. How did Sharon? Sorry, <laughs> sorry. And you want to take Christians? Okay. Accepting the award for Christian. <laughs> yes. And then our first place winner was um, Mario Mendoza. And he's not here either? Okay. <laughs> do you, so what we were hoping to do and what we just got confirmed this morning was that we're going to have our posters on display at the Grand Art Center. And we're working with them to figure out when we're going to be transitioning from the display they have now into having these posters available. So they'll be displayed for the public and um, should be a pre they're, they're very excited to do that. So that's kind of something to look forward to and we will let you know when that's going to happen. But congratulations again and thank you for participating. Thanks to all who participated. It's always a joy to get a chance to look at the, read the essays and look at the posters. So we appreciate everybody's uh, participation in that. What? To do a quick picture, please, uh, if we could. Thank you. Why don't you do it? Why don't you stand in the... Go ahead. Sorry. Do you? Where is it? Okay. Where are they? Yeah, we, we, we've done it before, <laughs> Clay. We just, I think the commissioners kind of like just stood along here, and then the winners were in front. Don't yeah. Want to do that? We also have honorable mention winners here too, but I'm looking for the list. And I, can you help me? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Is this right here? Yeah, but why isn't it on mine? Okay. All right. Here we go. So honorable mentions, we also have um, Xander Kostoff, Alex Garcia, and Ryan Henrik. So please come up and be in the picture with us, too. Okay. Just come right in front. Yep. No, right in front. Front and center. How about that? I'll tower over. All right. Is this kid going to Yes, all play. Thank you. Oh, Anybody more. else want to? Back here. Yeah. Parents now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.
You are certainly all welcome to stay, but you don't feel like you have to stay for the entire meeting, so. I'm a teacher. I know how this works. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Our next item of business is to approve the minutes from our previous meeting of March 28, 2022. They are before you. Move to approve the minutes. I'll second that motion. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the minutes from our previous meeting. Is there any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Motion passes and we accept the minutes. Moving on to the information, our budget report is our financial budget. If you notice, we, are, uh, we have 65% of our budget remaining, which is going to go fast uh, with our cultural diversity training, mm -hmm. uh, which will go quickly <clears throat> with that. Um, and that is through, I think, the fiscal year runs through the end of June, if I'm not mistaken. Because if you'll notice, then, at their next item of business is the budget request letter. And we need to date that no later than June 17th, uh, as monies are available. Now, our budget had been cut uh, due to through COVID, which was okay, because most of the events that we were participating in were not being held as they usually are, like the National Night Out, the County Fair booth, and the Bavarian Blast. And uh, so our current budget, I believe, is listed at um, $6,050. Um, if we want to increase that, we have to draw a letter of request, which I can have Lisa do to do that. Are there any suggestions for increasing the budget? And just so I'm understanding, increasing the budget of what we received this year or what we would typically receive? Because it was reduced this year. Yeah, it was reduced from previous years. So we should ask for what we would typically receive. Since we used to receive somewhere in the neighborhood of $8,000 to $8,500 yeah. a year, I think our budget was, in years past. So I would suggest we we um, request that because our, all of our events are going to be back on. Right. And if we want to continue to maybe expand and do other things with the diversity council, we'll have that padding and able to, do, to be able to do that as well. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I would agree with that as well. 85, is that what we're thinking? You can smile or not, it's okay. We don't <laughs> 85 sounds good. Yeah. You know, we'd like it would be nice to have a motion to that effect. Uh, I move that um, we request or submit a, um, a request for a budget in the amount of $8,500. I will second that motion. Motion has been made and seconded. Is there any, are there any questions or discussion? I'll then call the question. All those in favor of requesting a budget increase to $8,500 say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Thank you. Okay, we have a number of items. The committee, not necessarily the committee report, but we have a events. The first one is our parade registration uh, event. I suppose um, we have to simply decide if we're going to have a presence in the in the in the Bavarian Blast parade, which we have had in the past. We've usually had a car or SUV and walkers. Runners. Run, run. <laughs> <laughs> Not even kidding. No. <laughs> it was, no. It, it is bad. running. I've, I've done it. So maybe we need some. to rethink how we're going to do that. <laughs> well, I, we should have a presence in the parade, but. I think what we should do based on um, last year is we need, to, we should probably get a head count of who is going to be there before we decide um, whether or not do. we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. So if everyone, I would just recommend that everyone check their schedules for um, whatever it's, so that it looks like it's July 17th, 2022. And um, that's July 5th. So we've got to, yeah. Have a little time. So, so yeah, just check your schedules. If you're going to be in town, if you're willing to um, uh, go on the parade, uh, we've had family, kids, significant others 
what have you. And so if they want to uh, come on, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, we, just, we need to know uh, how many because, yeah, we just said last year I think we had like four people and it was just, yeah, three people just running constantly. And with more people, um, yeah, that, that yeah. would be a much uh, – the, the biggest thing is, is when the people want the signs, right? And so yeah. um, you're going to come back, grab it, then go – back to the, the person sitting there and then come back. And in the meantime, you know, the, dri the driver, driver has to keep going. Yeah. Otherwise they get yelled at. So, um, so th that way we could kind of just make sure that there's someone there just ready for the signs and then boom, boom, or maybe even a couple of people walking with them. It, wh whatever the case might be, it'll just make it a lot easier. Um, so yeah, so if we can get a head I think count. Kids are, and significant others are welcome as well as part of the yep. oh, yeah. to help. We usually hand out uh, candy and Stickers, 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 and bookmarks, and then the and the and then the um, uh, signs available for those who request them. So we're going to need to likely beforehand too, if we're going to look at our budget, we're going to need to reorder. I don't believe we have much of anything left. Yeah, I think we gave out a. I don't even know about signs. I think we gave out a good I chunk got, of them. I got a bundle left. Okay. Those were fast. Yeah, so they went fast. I think they're yep. all here. Most of them are here now. I'll have Lisa. We had them all dropped off, and I think Kristen dropped them off because she took them from the from the county fair and brought them in here. So most of the bulk is stored here. I'll check with Lisa Grathwell for an estimate, and we can decide next month at our next monthly meeting what, what we would like to do. Okay. So do you want to table this then till next month? Mm -hmm. We have time to make a decision on that. Yeah, I... I think so. It would give everyone a chance and an opportunity to determine whether or not they're available, and then we can kind of take inventory as well in the meantime. Okay. Is that sufficiently tabled by consensus? I see Sanan's heads. Okay, we'll table that till next meeting. The second one is the National Night Out info information. The National Night Out will be uh, basically a week later. Uh, we, in the past, we have had a table, informational table, at the National Night Out. Um, and we've uh, handed out bookmarks, which are informational about explaining what human rights are, as well as some activities. Wendy, Wendy, you've maybe done that more than anybody here. Yeah, we've had some. Um, <clears throat> we had some color sheets. We had um, a game that the mostly, I guess, geared towards kids that they could play, and they. It was just basically on education and just having some really good conversations with community members. But we had a very good positive response from it, and I would, I would highly recommend we do it again. And I'm not sure if there is a fee for that. I'm not seeing one. I don't believe there was in the past, but I might be wrong, I think we have to register too. that mm -hmm. with the United Way. So do we have a motion to participate in National Night Out? We can make plans later. I'd make I a mean, motion to participate. I second it. Motion has been made and second. Any discussion or questions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Pass another one. All right, good. And then finally, the Brown County Fair Exhibitor. Uh, for the Brown County Free Fair, not so free for us, however. <laughs> but um, there is uh, a um, rent a booth for the low price of $150. We've had, we started doing this, I think, Dan, your first year was the first time we did that. That sounds right. Yeah, yeah it's the first time we did that. And we we have our signs there. We have information to hand out. We have usually put the posters on the back wall. We have uh, we have had we do have a um, we need to order a table runner, which we didn't have uh, ha have last time. But that would be the the best thing to do. We'd approved that a long time ago, but <laughs> then COVID hit. <laughs> but we with with our emblem on there would be nice. And I, it, it, the logo, uh, if you see. Pointing out Chad's shirt, that's the logo behind the uh, ornament, ornament, or, ornamental. Uh, that's the human rights logo. That was designed by Jackie Crabiel. Crable. Okay, so um, discussion or suggestions as to the Brown County Free Fair. Hey, not necessarily as far as the fair goes, it ties into it, but we also have many new members since the last time that we ordered t-shirts, so that should also be something we consider if we're doing all of these events. Okay. Do you want to, should we, do 
do a motion for ordering, or do, well, maybe we can't do that. It's not on the agenda. Let's put that on for next. Just next keep month. it in the back of our minds yep. at we'll least. Put it on we'll the agenda it. for yeah. next okay. month. Sounds I think good. we can get it. I think she had them done at uh, Printware Graphics locally. I believe so. Too. So, and I know he's pretty quick about getting things turned around for us. So. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do a motion to um, set up a booth at the free fair. Uh, same thing there um, is kind of my concern with the um, with the parade. We do want to make sure that we have um, you know, participation. The nice thing about this is even if it's not, we can we can. There doesn't have to be someone there constantly. We can leave a lot of our stuff up. We leave our um, information, bookmarks, and and things like that. And so, but uh, just want to. Uh, encourage everybody to check their schedules so that we can get um, our schedule, our sign-up schedule, um, squared away more quickly than we have historically. So it seems like at the last minute where we're all kind of struggling to fill a bunch of positions. Usually for the new people, usually we take about two-hour stints, turns of two-hour stints. We sit at the table, hand out things, uh, answer any questions. Uh, hand out signs if people are interested. Sometimes people ask you what the New Home Human Rights Commission does, you know, and it's an opportunity to do that. Um, sometimes you may be challenged, um, and we have a we have a strategy for that, uh, not to in <coughs> certain certain ones you don't want to engage with, uh, but there, uh, it's I think it's always been fruitful to help our presence in the county in the city uh share the information that we have about the about what human rights are a lot of people have no idea what human rights are uh, and so it's a good opportunity to share that information we did also try to always have two people scheduled at the same time too so you're never there on your own sorry i actually moved that we Okay. I did a long time ago. Okay. I moved Is there a meeting. second to that that we participate? I'll second it. Okay. Motion's been made and second. Any other questions or concerns about the Brown County Fair? I'll call the question then. All those in favor of participating in the Brown County Free Fair, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Okay. Executive Committee report. Um, We've been working, we've scheduled the, the, we have scheduled the workshops for May 5th and May 12th with the Greater Mankato Diversity Council for the community, first community sessions. Casey has a poster ready to go. Uh, I've got a press release just about ready to go. And um, Wendy's coordinated with the um, Mankato, Greater Mankato Diversity Council. Lisa Pelzel is going, and Lisa Grethwa are going to set up a registration site on the, at the city site. Uh, but we want to make sure we're all on the same page before we do that. So we'll do put all this into motion tomorrow, <laughs> bright and early. Uh, the events committee will need to put together some snacks, etc. Okay, and you can all you need to do is save the receipt and you get reimbursed. Okay, so whatever you think. We'll have we've budgeted for up to sixty. Um, not budgeted, but we've planned for up to sixty to attend. We may have more, we don't know. And uh, so we'll let you know a couple of days in advance what the numbers are looking like. And uh, what what time is this gonna it's be? It's six thirty to eight. Six thirty to eight. <clears throat> both days. Uh, we could part session one is on implicit bias. Session two is Diversity 101. They are both an hour and a half. They both will have CEU hours for the police, for the education people, for the medical personnel, and I think child care workers as well. And the... And registration is preferred but not required. Right. Registration is going to be preferred but not required. Uh, we would be nice as the people walk in because they're planning some <coughs> small group breakout is to maybe pick up some name tags that they can, you know, and markers so that they could put their name on them, you know, just on a stick on from Kemsky, stuff like that would be nice. I might have a stash of name tags. Okay. <laughs> That'd be great, Janelle. If not, we can get them from Kemsky's, I think. 
Um, so if the events committee can coordinate with that, um, you can contact me or Lisa Grathwell for numbers as we get closer. Okay. If we're Go coming ahead. as commission members, do we register also or do we just no, come? No, we'll just come. Okay. Yeah, if we're coming. Okay. Um, be nice to get a good good turnout uh, of us because I was the only one at the uh, speaker where we had an issue and it would have been nice to have other people there but um, it's real I think it'd be really worthwhile I think I've been through parts of their training before and seen part of what their training is and it's really uh, quite good and I think the implicit bias one is a really good one for us to talk about especially in this community, given the kind of uh, responses we see in the local media, uh, both social and print, that there's a, quite a bit of misunderstanding about what that's all about. So I think that might help to alleviate some of those things uh, in the community. Have I missed anything, Wendy? I think that's it. Other than um, the, it is structured initially as we're, we're, they're going to have like talking and then breakout sessions and then come back together again, but that's dependent on numbers. Yeah. And if we do, which would be great if we get a really large turnout, but it might be where there are too many people to do that. So that's, we're going to play that by ear and kind of see what the numbers are, at least as far as the first session goes. But that's the initial plan. So all the events committee needs to do is do the snacks and drinks and name tags and, name tags. and markers. And marker, <laughs> good point. Um, we are in the New Ulm Community Center in the upstairs cafetorium. It's called. Okay, that's the we had official a discussion term. about that. Yeah. It's the official <laughs> term. It's the cafetorium. So, that holds up well over a hundred for our purposes. So I think we're that's a good location for that. Parking is good. It's handicap accessible. Uh, so I think that's a good good thing, and it's city stuff so we get a huge discount on that we do need to discuss um, distribution of the posters too and maybe who would be willing to do that correct okay. um, it would be nice to get those posters out as soon as we can yeah because um, we're only like 11 days out uh, to, the, to this so Casey will have the posters we'll get them printed it shouldn't take more than a day or two to get them printed so is there an ability to send out to like a PDF, like if we want to email people? Oh, we could do that. It, yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. We're waiting for the registration. The, the site. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And she was waiting for something from us tonight, so it'll, okay. I'll take care of that tomorrow morning. Okay. Otherwise, as far as putting them up in the community, are we thinking people just take them and ask businesses? I do have an email into the superintendent. I'm waiting to hear back okay. if we can put them up in the school or not. I was also planning on emailing, just sending the PDF to the superintendent too, because maybe it's something they can send out to staff via, mm -hmm. you know, the email as well, email since is. CEUs are available. Okay. The, um, we should include this to, to Dave Borcher too, because um, the New Orleans Police Department is co-sponsoring this, this diversity training, so. I'll someone I'll make sure Dave gets a copy of that if no one else does. So Okay, any other information any other questions about our event? I'm looking forward to this. I think it's going to be an exciting time. Um we do have uh the executive committee has talked about protocols for um um unexpected um outbursts. I'll leave it at that. And um with the police department being in attendance, I don't think we're going to have an issue with that, but if it does become uncomfortable for our speakers, I will ask the police department to intervene, okay, um, if, if need be. Okay, any other questions? I don't anticipate that given our last meeting, which we had a quite diverse, and they were well, well behaved and polite um, when we had the critical race theory speaker here in this room. Okay, then moving on to the next item. Uh, we had a response and then a couple of responses back. 
which uh, did, I think we decided not to respond to the last couple of statements um, by with a letter writer. Um, Pat Missling, who responded to the first letter, is a former school teacher from Springfield. Um, she had sent me the, her response, and I encouraged her to put it in the form of a letter to the editor, which she did. So, any comments on that, or the executive committee felt that we've stated our cases fairly well and articulately in the past, and that to respond would be just to give credence to some of the wild theories that he's proposing. Any other comments? Speak now. Okay. okay. Uh, any current human rights issues that anybody's aware of? Locally? No update from the city stuff? No? Okay. I haven't heard of any either. Legislative update? Anything, Dan? I don't have anything this month. No. Okay. Uh, City Council liaison? Who's uh, doing that? Was Kristen doing it? Kristen was doing that. No. Okay. I haven't heard anything from the City Council otherwise, too. Okay. Our other business is student commissioners. Somebody brought up that we should re re revisit student commissioners in conversation with Lisa. Even though we had approved it in the past, we we tried to get something working, then COVID hit again and then stopped us from doing that. But here's the uh, student, there's the press release. Uh, if you look at that, is seeking to fill two student commissioner seats. The seats would be non-voting, would be filled by New Elm students. We are looking to fill a one-year term and a two-year term with with a current student. The terms would begin and end in, um, well, usually they begin in January for us. Um, that might be, we might want to think about um, doing that for the, a different term for the student commissioners. And that's what I was thinking, yeah. when, like the school year. September make through June or sense. something, yeah. That definitely the makes students. more sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we, could say, we could say September through August or something like that. Applicants must be current residents of the city of New Ulm. Uh, the deadline for submitting an application is, and we can put a deadline in there. Uh, I'm thinking if we go end of May, that's unreasonable. And that would be to start next September. Next, yeah, starting in, or we could stay August too. We could make it August to August. That might be better. Just do August to August. The mission of the HRC is to guarantee equality for each individual and employment opportunities, housing, public accommodations, public services, education, credit services, and in business. The HRC aims to educate our community on human rights issues through community outreach. Then there's our meeting times and is excited about the opportunity to explore the perspectives of our community young people and create a closer relationship with our community schools. Okay. That would be a press release that would go out. Are we looking at a certain age um, to go with this? Well, if we were thinking that next year's would next year the one year term would be a senior, mm -hmm. and a two year term would be a junior, so that they can carry over, and then we'd have a rotation. So every year we would be replacing one student commissioner. Okay. Is that something we need to put in there, or? Well, there's an app now. If you go to the second part, is a student com, com, uh, commissioner application, and so there are so there's some interest there. Uh, why are you interested <laughs> in serving, and then what makes you a good candidate for this p position? No, what is there is oh. will there not will we get? Do we think we're going to get kids that want to do this, or do we think that if we serve the juniors and seniors, we won't get two kids? 
I'm wondering what the thought, why did we decide that we only wanted juniors and we seniors? We didn't say we wanted juniors and seniors, but we want to say we wanted the one year term mm -hmm. would be a one. I mean, we didn't want to have somebody. I mean, it could be a junior and a sophomore. It could be that, right. you know, I mean, it could work that way. I'm just saying. Okay. We didn't want a senior on the two year term. Right. Got it. Okay. <laughs> That's what we didn't want. Yeah. So they will be all two-year terms, but to start out with, it would just be a one-year because it's a senior. But if it's not a senior, why, we wouldn't need could to start it out with a one-year term. Right. So I'm wondering if we reword that. I could reword that, and we could put in there one or two-year term. Mm -hmm. mm. So we could keep it. That would work. That's a good suggestion. One yeah, two-year term and one one or two-year term. that if it's a senior, it would be a one-year term. term. Right. But if it was any other grade level, it would be mm -hmm. two-year two -year term. And I think we are thinking high school. So we should, I think is that's in, that should that's, be. That's kind of what I was wondering. Yeah, if, this is, you know, does it say that in there? I don't know if you would get a ton of younger kids, but if you want to have some kind of a minimum. Student. Yes. Where would you put that? It says a current blank. Oh. Okay, we should put that in there, a current high school student, yeah. Should we say current high school age student? Yeah, they or could be, yeah. or they could yeah. be homeschooled, I suppose, yeah. Technically, you know, enrolled in an institution, but. Right, technically, you could uh, do that. Good point. Yep. Okay. Good suggestions. Uh, anything to think about adding to the application form, which will go out to the, uh, that'll be found in the city website so they could download that um, so we'll have a couple press releases for the local uh, newspaper do we know Come how on. the the application and I guess this press release is going to be distributed to some of the um, well high we schools? could we could do the press release to the high schools along with the form the to the administrators in the high school do via we, email do we think we should Possibly, like include our mission or stay on. I thought in the press release was. I'm just. I'm oh, just we I don't know. could do that, or you could just. Okay. Well, we do kind of say that in the press release, but we could put we could add that to the for mission form, where we would add the last pair, um, the the second paragraph from the press release onto the form. Is that what you're suggesting, Casey? Yeah. yeah. I think that's makes agreeable. Sense. That makes sense. Yeah. That way it's like right fresh and they're, they're looking at it while they're filling out the form, not that they have to go back to the press release. I think that's a great idea. Okay. So officially we'll need a motion to reinstitute our request and formation for the, with the student commissioners. So moved. Or do you want me to say it? <laughs> uh, I move that we reinstitute um, the uh, student commissioner uh, program, and uh, essentially part of that being the press release and the application distributed to uh, local high schools. Is there a second? I'll second it. Motion has been made and seconded to reinstitute the student commissioner program. Is there any discussion? One thing, the reason I was asking before about how it's uh, distributed, we've talked before about um, sometimes just sending stuff to administration and not really hearing anything back. If anybody knows uh, people in the educational system that they can uh, talk to, give it to them, um, answer questions, and talk to them personally, um, I think that that would be advantageous. So. And I think reaching out too to the counselors as well instead of admin, well not instead of admin, but in addition to admin yep. is a good move. We could send, most of those emails are public, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. So we could access that for the high school. Probably wouldn't hurt to send it to the building principals in each case, in addition to the superintendents or administrators. Perhaps uh, Casey and Wendy, you, we, can, we can confab on that since you two have contacts within the district itself. 
that we could, and I have contacts that oh, there's, we'll have to work at the cathedral end of it. I don't have, I don't know anybody there. Oh. I know some people there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right. Any other discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. The intercultural development inventory for HRC members, I have asked to be tabled. Um, if that's okay, we're not ready. I think we've got enough on our plate right now rather than dealing with it at that point in time. And 11.3 then, the community concert, uh, Janelle? Um, it just is not going to be able, the person can't get things coordinated. They've got a lot going on in their own life all of a sudden, and so they're hoping to do something in the fall, but okay. that's just a, so for now it's kind of off. <laughs> we'll tell her to keep our, keep us surprised. Yep. Okay. Is there any other business we need to attend to tonight? Then a reminder that our next regularly scheduled meeting is Monday, May 23rd. That is not Memorial Day. Memorial Day is the next week. So um, we will have a few items on the agenda to take care of. Uh, with that, it uh, comes an end to our meeting. I don't believe we missed anything. I would motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I'll second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 I doubt no one's opposed, but same <laughs> sign. We are adjourned. Thank you, folks. Great meeting.